So a few days ago, I shared this photo collage on my Instagram with you guys and a lot of you guys seem to really enjoy it and wanted to recreate it for yourself. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can easily recreate this 3-in-1 photo layout in Photoshop as well as a 3-in-1 video layout in Premiere Pro for Instagram. Back a few months ago when I first saw this 3-in-1 photo layout, I really wanted to learn how to do it and recreate it for myself. but. I couldn't find any tutorials or any information about it online. So I basically just had to figure it out by myself through hours of trial and error. And that is why I really wanted to create this video today is to share this little bit of knowledge with you guys and for you guys to not have to go through the trial and errors that I had to because it's actually a lot easier than I thought it was. But before I start, one thing to keep in mind is that this three photo layout works best for horizontal photos. Personally, I don't actually shoot a lot of horizontal photos. I do occasionally, but I mainly shoot vertical for Instagram. But I do shoot a lot of video and that is in a horizontal crop. So if you're more of a cinematographer, a filmmaker, or a DP, you probably have a ton of video clips that you could screen grab from that would be perfect for this 3-in-1 photo layout. Also, this is just a really awesome way to show off some of your cinematography on Instagram to land more clients. Now, if you don't shoot video at all and you don't have any videos to screen grab from, then just make sure you use horizontal photos. So now jumping into Photoshop first, go ahead and create two new projects. The first one is going to be your master project with a dimension of 3,456 by 4,320. And the second is your piece project with a dimension of 3,456 by 1,440. I highly recommend you guys write those down. That's probably the most important part about creating this three photo layout. So I'll just sort of pop it up over here. Personally, I've written it down myself. I feel like it's a really easy thing to forget, so just make sure to write it down. All right, so now that you have your master and your piece project made, go ahead and drag and drop those three photos that you want to use into your piece project. And the example photos that I'm going to be using today is just a bunch of screenshots from a video project that I'm currently working on with my good friend Nolan. The ratio is going to crop your photo a bit, so just make sure to position it to how you like it. Once you have it positioned correctly, go ahead and export those three photos. So now that you have those three photos exported in that crop ratio, take those same three photos and bring it back into your master project. And now it should fit perfectly. And now you can probably just layer it however you want. Pretty simple, right? Like it took me so long to figure this out and it's just so easy. So now let's jump into Premiere Pro where I'll be showing you how to create this three in one video layout. So just like before, go ahead and create two new projects. Then create a sequence in both of these projects. And how I normally like to do it is just by dragging and dropping a 4K clip onto my timeline. Once you have your two sequences created in two of your projects, you can now change the dimensions for each project. The first project is going to be your master project with the same dimensions of 3,456 by 4,320. And the second is your piece project with the same dimensions of 3,456 by 1,440. Once you have those two created, now you can go ahead and drag and drop those three video clips that you wanted to use in your piece project. In my case, I've already selected three of my clips and color graded it. Just make sure to position it to your liking and then export those three videos. Once you have those three video clips exported in that crop ratio, go ahead and bring those three videos back into your master project. And now it should fit perfectly and just make sure to position it so it's not overlapping. And there you have it, a three in one video layout in Premiere Pro, Final Cut, or DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't really matter as long as you can change uh, the dimensions. So like I said before, this is a great way for a lot of cinematographers or DPs to showcase some of their video work on Instagram while still following that vertical crop rule that Instagram loves. And if you're not a cinematographer or DP, it's still a really unique layout that will definitely up your Instagram game. 
So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions, any questions at all, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to help as many of you guys as I can. Also, I don't really know if this is the best method to create this three-in-one photo layout. This is sort of just how I've figured it out and my workflow about it. If you guys have any suggestions or an easier method, I would definitely love to hear it. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or dropping a like on this video. That would really mean a lot and really does support the channel. Come find me on Instagram for more of my photography. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.